Welcome to the Rhino Ag TS12. This is a 12 foot flex wing rotary cutter. Uh, one of the great features of this flex wing is the low horsepower that it is required to operate the tractor. You can run it with a minimum of 35 PTO horsepower. Yes, you can get 12 foot of cut with a compact, large compact or utility tractor. Just a few things, uh, specs and stuff we're going to talk about, uh, the boring stuff, and then we're going to get into the good stuff, the operation and what's really special about this cutter. You're going to see your blade tip speed on this. Uh, if it really, I mean, blade tip speed is, is important, but it's not the ultimate result that you should base your decision on. Because blade tip speed has functions like lift. You create too much lift and you're going to hold material up in the top of the cut chamber. But this unit here has 14,504 blade tip speed in the center section, 13,925. So close to 14,000 blade tip speed. That's a good blade tip speed for everything. But one of the things that's important is our gearbox setup. Rhino Ag and uh, the Heritage Companies created this four four gearbox system that's part of our heritage we've been building rotary cutters for a long long time especially flex wings the uh, center divider gearbox here is 160 horsepower you only need 35 minimum to come in so you got a big beefy gearbox that's going to handle more load than uh, pretty much any tractor you're going to put in front of this the Blade gearboxes, which is going to be your three that the blades are swinging on, they are 65 horsepower. Plenty of horsepower. Those are actually in field performance tests. There is not a ISO manufacturing guidelines on how gearbox ratings are. It's the company that builds the mower that's going to rate the gearboxes. I'm going to tell you, Rhino is very conservative compared to a lot of the other brands. Other than that, let's get into the the cool beasts and beans of this this unit one of the great things is this unit only requires a single hydraulic cylinder one hydraulic hose this other one is for lights basically what it does is it activates your master cylinder once it's full it starts raising the wings that's great because a lot of your compacts and small utility tractors may only come with one hydraulic cylinder so you can do it with it we can as a dealer split this out for you to two cylinders or three or three cylinders so those options are available slip clutch protection on all your drive lines uh, one unique thing of this hitch is this hitch can pivot on this bolt right here you've got a c it can pivot 360 this way and then you have a third pivot point where it can pivot this way. What that allows you to do is have super duper tight turns. It's a very unique hitch. Uh, we'll drive it just a little bit here and show you how tight you can turn with this TS-12 from Rhino Ag. Big beefy cast iron skid shoes. Look at the beat size of that sucker. You ain't gonna find that on a lot of mowers. Uh, we, that's the same skid shoe we use on our big heavy duty uh, 15 foot 3150 4150s rotary cutters. This one features the steel chain guards. One of the things you'll notice is all Rhino chain guards are cable with crimped ends. That crimped end is not going to bend, open, and you start losing your chains. Uh, I've never seen a problem yet with uh, our chain guards. There's a lot of difference in chain guards. You don't think that's a big feature, but the little details do really matter a lot. Jack with it. Uh, big long skid shoe here, replaceable. Look at the size of that skid shoe. That's pretty much the most of the length of the wing there. A lot of mowers go with little tiny small skid shoes and the problem is is not of all our world is was created flat so we're going to uh, drop the wings here I pulled the, the pins 
some pins come right out of here. Rhino Ag even has a storage spot right down here for them. This is uh, cast iron. Yep, this is cast. Uh, basically safety stop for when you're roading down the road. Got your lock collars there. Your big nice gearboxes. Curved arm design. These are actually a foam filled uh, airplane tire. I mean you ain't ever going to get a thorn. They're designed for high speed travel. Uh, these little wings back here are protectors if you're backing up over brush. They're replaceable. It's a, it's a little simple thing if you bend them up. They're just to protect the main mower. But look at the thickness of the metal there. That's one heck of a piece of metal. What we're going to do, we're going to fire it up, let the wings down, and then we'll fire up the mower. But we need to talk about one thing. This is the most important part of a mower. This is the Inf Infinity Blade Carrier. What this does is you've got stump jumping capabilities on the edges here. If you get into a stump, this is going to raise this wing up and over it. Uh, big, heavy duty, I think these are half by three inch uh, blades, got a lot of lift to them. That's a big beefy blade there. Um, one of the advantages of this style is a round pan design, if you ding it, it's out of balance. If you ever had a front, have you ever had a car tire out of balance? It drives you crazy. What do you think that's doing to your in your output shaft of your gearbox when that blade carrier is doing this? Yeah, it's eating that bottom seal up. That's the other thing. When you have a big pan, you can't see when that seal leaks. With the Infinity blade carrier, if this leaks, you'll be able to see it in this area, and you'll be able to main manage it. Taking, making sure that fluid's topped off so you can get finished and then we can get in here and we can get you taken care of and resolved and back to the field. One of the other things is the, it's truly unique is it's not the, the cut chamber is very important. You've got to create lift in this area and volume to, to pull that grass up, cut it off and then you're cutting in this, this part of the chamber and you're discharging in this side. So your front of your mower is always going to be a, a hair lower, about three quarters inch lower in the front than the rear. Cut in the front, throw in the back. Cut in the front, throw in the back. That's what a blade's doing. So it's cutting the material here, compressing the material, and then throwing it out for a good even discharge. That's one of the Rhino Ag differences, is how they manage residue. Not all mowers are created equal. And that's one of the difference of the Rhino Ag differences is cut quality, features, it's the little details that really matter when you're looking at a rotary cutter. Now we've got the, the cutter folded in the, uh, the highest configuration and you can see in that video path of least resistance is going to be your wings. Gravity fall, hydraulic raise. Just a quick overview before we fire this thing up and show you how she cuts. That's a nice cutter. Actually this tractor package, lo tractor and loader package is headed to the fields today. Massey Ferguson 4707 and a TS-12 man. This guy has got a dream come true to mow grass and weeds.
you can see how that rhino ag hitch helps make you see super tight duper duper tight turns so you when you're looking for a cutter check out the rhino ag cutters we have cutters from four foot to 20 foot flex wings from 10 foot to 20 foot to fit all kinds of sizes shapes models of tractors I mean we can put a flex wing cutter on a 25 PTO horsepower tractor that's going to be about your mid 30 engine horsepower built heavy built different for a reason rhino ag born tough and born to last I mean these suckers are a beast and you ain't gonna get beat buying the best cutter in the industry come visit us at Varnberg implement we're your Massey Ferguson and Rhino Ag dealer in West Central Missouri we have a whole lineup of rotary cutters tractors to fit your needs and we're here to help you learn more about the products so you can make the best educated decision for your buying needs.